When placing foster children into homes, the priority is always to keep siblings together and close to their families. But with such a large gap in kids needing a place to stay and families willing to open their homes, that's becoming more and more difficult. Oh, smash! Spend just a few minutes at the golf house in Evansville and you'll see that hammer. just how busy mom and dad are. Fortunately for me, I get to leave for eight hours and go to work. Matthew and Sarah Goff adopted three foster children, Brady, Spencer, and Isaiah, and now they're hoping to adopt two more. Not in a million years if he would have told me that we were going to be a family of seven, I think we probably both would have laughed and then maybe fell over. <laughs> the couple married in 2010. A year later, they wanted to try having children, but were told it would be a slim chance. And we moved from a tiny house to this house with four bedrooms, and then we're like, what are we going to do? We have empty bedrooms and we may not ever have kids. So we decided to open our home um, as foster parents. Mella, it's okay. From 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., it is go, go, go. Making breakfast, getting kids to daycare, add in playing and bedtime, and there almost aren't enough hours in the day. But the Goffs wouldn't have it any other way. Give me that hammer. I guess that at the end of the day, we got a beautiful, uh, healthy, happy family. While foster parenting isn't always easy, it's a responsibility they hope other families will step up to because the need is greater than ever. We have kids that are being shipped up on the other side of Indy because we don't have any foster homes for them here, which means to see their biological family, they have to travel two and three hours just for a visit. So something's got to give. But honestly, we are in survival mode right now. We're just trying to find safe homes for children. So some of those other things have just been set aside and that's really sad because we want to be able to keep kids together and we want to be able to keep them close to home when we can. Nicole Schultz is the village's director of admissions for Southern Indiana. The nonprofit organization helps match up foster children and works with families wanting to adopt. Schultz says right now there are 300 foster children in Vandenberg County waiting to be placed in a home and the number is growing. How great is the need for foster care right now? I can't even put into words how great the need is. I am getting calls literally from Department of Child Services offices around the state saying we just need a foster home. According to Schultz, the increase in foster care is being attributed to an increase in heroin and prescription drug abuse and mental health issues. But there is a way to help. Sign up to be a foster parent and change a child's life. The joy these children can bring you and when you see the difference that you're making in their lives, it only takes one person to make a difference in a child's life. It's a difference Matthew and Sarah continue to make as they work toward their family of seven. What is the trash, trash can doing in here? It's definitely life changing. Foster care advocates say if this is something a family has been considering, now is the time to do it. With more than 23,000 kids in foster care in the state of Indiana right now, the need is greater than ever. Melissa Schroeder, 44 News.